What's going on guys? My name's Theo Atrix and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get to the new Slayer dungeons and areas in Old School RuneScape. So with the Diverse Dungeons update, which came out three days ago on the 27th of April, a lot of the Slayer monsters that were originally in Neve's Cave have been moved to different dungeons and areas across RuneScape. Now, before I talk about each dungeon, you need to keep in mind that these caves can only be used if you're on a Slayer task for this monster. The first one I'm going to show you is the Chasm of Fire, and this dungeon is home to the Greater Demons, the Lesser Demons, and the Black Demons. The fastest way to get there is to use the new Fairy Ring with the code DJR, and that will take you just a bit southeast of the entrance, and then you just obviously have to run northwest to get there. The other way to get there is to use Xerix Talisman to teleport you to Xerix Lookout and then run northwest. But this one is quite a bit further than the Fairy Ring. And if you don't know what a Xerix Talisman is, you can get that as a drop from Lizardmen. I think it's like 1 in 200 or so. Uh, it's really easy to get. You just go to the lizard men, use a cannon, and you'll kill them very quick. So the Chasm of Fire has three levels, and all three levels of the Chasm are cannonable. The top level has the lesser demons, the second level has greater demons, and the ground level has a lot of black demons. These new black demons make this task way more bearable, in my opinion, because originally you had to go all the way through Taverly Dungeon just to get to the black demons that you could actually cannon. Next is the new Calphite Hive, and it's got a very, very similar, I think it's exactly the same, to be honest, layout to the old Calphite Hive. There's a few ways to get to this one. The easiest way there, which is doable for all levels, is to use the Amulet of Glory Teleport to Alcarid. Then you run south to get to the lair, which is just next to the Shantae Pass. But keep in mind, you'll need to get yourself a pass from one of the shops, which is just nearby, since the cave is actually inside the desert. Another option, which doesn't really require a Shantae Pass, is to use the fairy ring code BIQ, and that takes you to the old Calphite lair, which has the Calphite queen in it, and then you run back near the Shantae Pass, and then just around the corner and you're there. This method and the glory method are almost the same distance, but I prefer the BIQ method since you can have a full inventory of stuff and not require a Shantae Pass. The fastest way to get there is to use the Achievement Diary Cape Teleport to Jar, which is the guy at Alcarid uh, for the Achievement Diaries. And that's literally like at the Shantae Pass. And then all you need to do is go into the desert and you're basically there. Sadly, I can't show this one because I'm not that pro. Next is the Smoke Cave. And this is the new location for Smoke Devils and the Thermonuclear Smoke Devil boss. This cave is very, very close to Castle Wars, so one of the fastest ways to get there is to use a Ring of Dueling to Castle Wars and then run south. The alternate way to get there is to use the Fairy Ring Code BKP, which takes you near the Chompy Birds, and then all you have to do is run a little bit northeast and you're there. The layout of this cave has remained exactly the same as it was before, but the walls seem to be a little bit of a different grey colour, which is kind of cool, I guess, that they changed it. Now for the Kraken Cove, which is the new area for the Kraken boss, normal Kraken monsters, and also water fiends. It's located near Piscataris or Piscatorus, whatever you want to say, and there's actually a few ways to get there. The first way is to use the Fairy Ring Code AKQ, and that takes you to the Hunter area there, and then you run southwest. Another way is to use a Piscatarus Teleport and then run directly west, and they cost about 3k to use. The other way is to use the Western Banner 3 or the Western Banner 4, and their rewards from the Hard and Elite Western Provinces Diaries, and this teleports you to the Piscatarus Fishing Colony once a day, and sadly again, I can't show this one. So the layout of the Kraken area is a little bit different to what it was before, quite a bit actually, but the boss lair has the same layout as before. Now I'm quickly going to brush over the last three since they are expansions of old caves and areas. The first is the Slayer Tower Dungeon, which is the home to a lot of Necrails, Abyssal Demons, Bloodvelds, and Gargoyles. The fastest way there is to use the Slayer Ring to the Slayer Tower, 
or otherwise you can teleport to Canifus with a Carol teleport and run there. If you haven't done Desert Treasure to use the Carol teleport, you can just use teleports in other people's houses. Next is the expansion to Brimhaven Dungeon and the fastest way there into the expanded area is to go just near Taibo 1i Village, which is the fastest way there and you use a Taibo 1i teleport scroll. The dungeon has bronze, iron and steel dragons, but you need to keep in mind when you're going to this one, you need to bring 5,000 trading sticks the first time only. It's a one-off fee, you pay her and then she will let you into the cave. The final expansion is the Taverly Dungeon Black Dragon area, and this saves you having to run all the way through the entire Taverly Dungeon just to get to them since they actually added some stairs which is just near the entrance. There's a lot of baby black dragons on the way to the big black dragons. That makes them a really good quick task if you don't really want to kill the black dragons themselves. Anyways guys, I hope you learned something today on how to get to all the new Slayer areas. If you did, be sure to leave a like on this video. If you want to submit a clip of the day, send an email to theoatrix at gmail.com. Sadly, I don't have any submissions for today, so I'm going to skip that segment of today's video. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more daily old school content. Once again, thanks for watching and have a nice day.